Wow, it's such a beautiful day. A welcome change from the hail and snowstorm that we've been getting. For those of you who are familiar with this place, you will probably recognize that we're staying at Land of the Arches in Slade, Kentucky, which is a world-class climbing destination. So right now we are in the process of cleaning up everything. We've been here for a couple of days now, so you can see we're quite spread out. Once that's done, we're gonna go climbing at Mir Valley and we'll show you how the sandstone looks around here. Here we are at the Red River Gorge in Kentucky. The Red holds a special place in our hearts, not only because it is our last climbing destination for this crazy wild van life adventure that we've been on, but it's also a place that we pilgrimage to basically every single year pre-COVID. So it's really special that we get to come here as our final climbing destination. You may have noticed that we really cut back on posting videos. We've kind of been in a funk lately, but the silver lining in that is we've gotten to spend a lot of time hiking in this gorgeous area instead of climbing, which is what we normally do. And this place is just a beautiful paradise for waterfalls, overhanging caves, all sorts of colors in the red rocks and the green lichen. Spring is blooming, so all the wildflowers are coming out and the animals are becoming more alive. So yeah, we've kind of been slowly climbing out of this extreme level of fatigue. And I think one of the reasons why people burn out of van life is because we don't really take the time to slow down and recognize and kind of complete the different chapters of our journey. And what I mean by that is after Mexico, if we had taken a regular vacation there by plane and then flown back home, there would have been a physical, mental, and emotional completion to that trip. The lesson over the last month of us dialing back posting videos on YouTube was doing more grounding activities like hiking and resting and reading so that we could really let our nervous systems take a deep break and we knew you'd all understand and be supportive of that so we're really glad that you're here right now watching this next part of our adventure and the adventure is going to start right now by Moritz getting on a 5'9 climb and we're just going to warm up on this climb before Moritz tries to tackle his project. This 5.9 was super fun. You start off with a super reachy two-handed pull and you throw your legs up, get your ass up over the ledge and you get into these nice flaky, crimpy jugs, super grippy sandstone and it's overhanging the whole time. We have not climbed any overhangs in so long. So even this easy warm up is like taking a lot out of us in terms of endurance and strength, but it was really fun. A super short one for us to warm up on. Now that we've done the 5.9, Moritz is gonna work on his project and get a chance to use his camera crane for one more time before we start to wrap things up. This one is a very different style from what we did so far. It's very overhung, very burly, and you have to really pull from your arms and from your back. So I was a bit sketched out. I also don't like falling into the air, but the climb has three stars in the guidebook. So I was excited to just give it a try and see how far I got. And I got into the crux section and that's where I really felt too weak to actually execute the moves. So I had to sit down and reconsider a bit what my next actions are. Not strong enough. Nice try. And yeah, you basically pull hard until you reach a really good jack yeah. in the back and then you can rearrange your feet and stand up and solve that problem. Taki is really awesome because it has this super solid sandstone, even more solid than red rocks 
or Sedona. But the best part about it is that it doesn't polish, so you'll never ever gonna smear off because it's polished. You maybe smear off because Kentucky is a very wet climate. <laughs> We're going to head back to Miguel's now, which is where everybody goes to camp. And he is the person responsible for the funny looking face that is often on my water bottle. So we ordered a pizza because it's going to be really busy there. We'll try to get some footage. It might be a little dark, but we'll see you there. our very very last day at the red and our very very first time at Emerald City. Moritz wants to try to send an 11B or an 11C before we go. Yeah. <laughs> One of our goals this year was to push our grades but so far we hadn't done that in Kentucky. I found this four star climb called Yellow Brick Road and it seemed like the perfect climb for us. It was slobby, short but sustained and surrounded by perfect rock. And of course, Moritz ends up flashing this climb and as did I, which only made us want to push further. There's a saying in climbing where if you're not falling, you're not trying hard enough. And clearly we weren't trying hard enough. So although we were supposed to leave Kentucky, we decided to seek out one more project. Nice, oh. babe. How do you feel? <laughs> I should be feeling better. You should be feeling better, but. I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Later, you all. I guess so, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that must have been really cool. You are so awesome. Not that you weren't awesome before this. <laughs> Yeah, true, the party light. <laughs> As you can see, spring is in the air and we were supposed to leave here yesterday, but the weather is just so absolutely gorgeous that we decided to stay and hit up an even harder climb because Moritz did so brilliantly, marvelously, fantastically on the 11B yesterday, just on sighting it, no problem. Wow, look at this rock. It's so cool.
we're heading over to military wall and I'm gonna throw Moritz on an 11D. See how he handles that. It'll be a new grade for him and me. So we're excited about that. And then we're gonna leave Kentucky. So just a short little addition to the video. So I find this really cool. There are some iron deposits. I think they're iron deposits. But it's almost like a pipe going in through the wall. And you can see it coming out onto the rock here. And it just continues and you can see it all along the entire gorge here. This is the 12A start. It looks really interesting when you look up. The wall kind of curves out this way, but it's mostly slab because you go to Kentucky to climb slob, eh? <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna pull any roofs. So that might have cut off, but Moritz got to the top. <laughs> How do you feel? Awesome. I'm a bit cold because <laughs> it is pretty shady and windy here. Yeah. That was so cool. Like, I figured out all the moves. I did fall twice though. Well, I fell once and you I fall. sat in the second time. But anyways, if we ever come back and if I'm ever gonna in good condition, then gonna get back on it. You were so close. I was super close to sending uh you were so close to flashing it. Or flashing on it. Right, it. On sighting it. But that's not the point. No. Point is, I led a 10, no, 11D. An 11D. <laughs> it's an 11D, babe. Yeah, super happy. Your, your, your highest grade led outdoors. Nice. You can finally <laughs> buy me a beanie. <laughs> German climber etiquette, unofficial, obviously. If you can climb eights, you can wear a beanie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh, you are golden oh. now. Nice. And into the ledge. You got it. Woo. Nice. Oh. What a beautiful line. Good God. Yeah. That was so challenging. That was like, wow. Right on the edge. So you right have to on the edge. Train harder, so it's not on the edge anymore. <laughs> but that's pretty amazing. Yeah. We started off. Started Last year on the road to pitches, seven. climbing five six, <laughs> and sport room felt really bad on them. <laughs> and we were out of breath, and now we are in the red, almost a year later, working on eleven D. Yeah, this is basically my goal. Like I wanted to do twelves, but twelve eleven D. That's that's pretty close. Yeah, well, we achieved our goal. I know. You achieved your goal too. I mean, you wanted to get in the elevens. I climbed yeah. two 11s. I, I got mildly princess belayed up this, mildly, but I did all the moves. I yeah. like, word of honor, I was able to execute all of the moves. I just didn't have enough pull strength because I tweaked my left finger. So, um, but my footwork was great. Yeah. I mean, if you're getting belayed the wall, can you see your footwork? Not gonna diminish my accomplishment, yeah. we feel really good. So I think it's safe to say that we feel pretty good leaving. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Now I'm feeling accomplished too. Oh, <laughs> does that make you feel excited to go back home to be with our friends? 
Well, I'm family. excited to be with friends and family, but I'm still not excited going back to Toronto. See, Germans never lie. <laughs> no. <laughs> More how does this taste? This beautiful meal I cook for him. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> but it's beautiful. <laughs> well, this was an amazing, amazing day of for me. <laughs> I hope you had a ton of fun joining us in the red. Thank you to everyone who supported us on coffee and bought us a coffee. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check that out. Yeah, that really means the world to us, seeing all that support. Thank you very much. All right, well, we will catch you on the road to pitches. Bye.